and welcome back to Nancy's Neighborhood. And I met this gentleman yesterday at the Main Street Luncheon. His name is Joe Fivas, and he is the new city manager for Cleveland. And so I invited him to be on TV with me, and I just want Joe to tell us a little bit about himself. Well, um, first of all, thank you for the opportunity. You're so and, welcome. Uh, I look forward to uh, many more uh, opportunities to have conversations. Um, I, I am the city manager, and I uh, most recently came from uh, North Carolina. Um, it's a community of Indian Trail, um, which is just right outside Charlotte. And uh, um, um, I have a, a wife and two daughters. Oh, good. Okay. And, um, um, you know, family is the most important uh, thing in, in our lives. And we, we try to spend Wonderful. as much time as we can together. Um, you know, we like to go out and uh, be in the outdoors and uh, um, go hiking. And, um, you know, one daughter plays softball and the other daughter. Oh, good plays, uh, you know, is in, in musicals and... And you're in yeah. a wonderful place in Cleveland for all that to be happening. Yeah, that's what I understand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so the two daughters, what ages are they? Uh, 10 and 12. 10 and 12, all right. And they're going to school at... Uh, they'll be going, um, once we sell our house, Okay. they'll be going um, in the Cleveland School District. Okay, very, very good. And there's a lot of wonderful things that happen in the Cleveland City Schools. Now, you may not know this, but I'm on the Bradley County Board of Education, So, but I will say Cleveland City Schools are good, okay? So, how in the world did you become involved in being city manager? Um, well, I started out my career um, working in, in state government um, in the state of Michigan and um, I had worked in worked my way up and I worked for the Speaker of the House and and really one day I decided that uh, uh, working in state government was uh, wasn't making a, a big enough um, life impact. Oh wow okay. So so I and, uh, and just uh, being able to uh, have a lot of uh, interactions with local officials I, I thought that that's where things really happen and uh, decisions are made and where you can really have the most impact. So I um, went and uh, uh, got a job working for the Michigan Municipal League, which is an association that represents all the cities and uh, in the state of Michigan. And I did that for about four years and learned a lot about uh, municipal governments. And then I decided that I wanted to actually get on the ground and, and help people and uh, uh, help help resolve issues at, at the local level, but but also to uh, um, be a part of a community and make a, you know, put footprints in the sand and, and make a lasting impact. And um, I got a job as a city manager in Michigan. I was there for a while. Then I went to North Carolina, um, community about 40,000 people. I was there for a little bit. And then this opportunity in, in Cleveland presented itself. And, uh, uh, it's been the, so far the best decision I've ever made. Wonderful. We are so glad to hear that. I told Joe I wouldn't ask him, how do you like Cleveland? But evidently, <laughs> since he just said that. So, actually, your job is managing the city of Cleveland. That's correct. Okay, so, but you do answer to the city council. That is absolutely right. Okay, that's fun, I'm sure. But that's okay. Guys, I won't talk ugly about you because, you know, I love every one of you. But just a little bit of what your job entails. Um, well, I um, have a great opportunity to work with the, uh, the city council. Um, it's been a great experience there. Uh, um, people that uh, um, have a wealth of, of knowledge and, and have been very helpful to me to, to get started. And, um, I, you know, we have uh, 300 plus employees and we do police and fire and, uh, you know, the, the development issues and um, you know, making sure that uh, potholes are filled and taking care of the streets and, mm -hmm. and you know, working on uh, congestion and transportation issues as well. Um, not to mention Parks and Recreation. Parks and Rec, and that's big in Cleveland and Bradley County because we have a lot of wonderful parks and recs and the Greenway and all of that. So, um, and, and Mayor Tom, you know I love you, but um, I'm sure working with the City Council is easy. That's a good bunch of bunch of people mm -hmm. and um, and they do handle they they do handle a lot of city things but it always comes across your desk um, yeah mm -hmm. yeah I mean I think that our job is to uh, um, help residents um, with day-to-day uh, -day issues 
and uh, present uh, ideas and solutions um, for the elected leaders so that they have all the information possible so that they can make the best decisions for the community and you know sometimes um, you know look at, at new ways of doing things and and sometimes just uh, you know always reevaluating and, and reinventing uh, your processes and, and and we all work together pretty well and, and work on those things and that's great and I know I know one of the big issues we have here is transportation only so many east west and so many north south and those situations come up and I know that's something mm -hmm. and I'm quite sure you get phone calls about even little picky things but but tell everybody where your office is in case they won't find you which you may not want them to do no we are I I have an open door policy fantastic I I would um, stand out in the hallway and talk to people as long as they wanted me to um, I, I enjoy interacting um, with the public because that's how I know what's going on and uh, so I encourage anyone if you uh, have an issue that that you want to talk with someone at the city that I would encourage you to stop by and uh, you know, I know any of our elected officials are always happy to uh, talk to anyone but uh, you know we just want to you know resolve uh, any issues and sometimes people have some compliments for us and, and we appreciate that those I'm sure are much appreciated yes so Joe is new with us how long have you been in your position now um, well um, we've been here since uh, um, beginning of our mid-August. Okay. So it's been a couple months, and uh, um, it, it's been just a wonderful experience. Um, you know, the the genuine hospitality of, of the um, people in Cleveland has uh, far out exceeded our expectations, and uh, um, just everyone is uh, very welcoming. Um, you know, we uh, we we were very interested in in Cleveland my my wife's uh, mom and dad live about uh, 45 minutes north of here oh wow so that that was one area that that why we wanted to be in this area so, Fantastic. That, so that she could be uh, close to her mom and dad mm -hmm. and uh, um, it's, it's just really a blessing that 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 we are able to have this opportunity and you know we're working with uh, um, your great city council um, our staff is uh, really one of the best staffs and uh, people that they I've had really to work good. with. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and just all of our partners, whether it's uh, Cleveland Utilities, whether it's the people at the library. Um, Cleveland has a, many, many assets um, that, are, that are just, uh, um, it's just a wonderful place to be and look forward to, you know, working with all of our partners and people in the community just to do our part to make it a better place. Great. Joe, thank you so much for being on with me today. This is Joe Fivas, and that's F-I-V-A-S, Long I. I had to ask about that to be sure, but he's our new city manager, and you heard him say open door policy, so if you have anything you need to talk to him about, uh, just give him a call or stop by City Hall and see him. So, Joe, welcome to Cleveland. It's so great to have you here with us, and I hope to have you back on, and we'll talk a little bit more once you kind of get settled in a little bit because mid-August to now, that's not very long, folks. So so I hope to have you back on with me and we'll talk about some more things because there may be something exciting happening in Cleveland, who knows? But uh, anyway, at least you don't have to build any airports or anything like that now. We've already done all that. So thank you so much for being on with me today, Joe. I really appreciate it. And folks, don't go away. We're going to take another commercial break and we'll be right back with our final guest. So watch these commercials and don't go away.